as we have a look at now at the, uh, the highlights of this race, thanks to uh, AWMF. And early on, it was Jake Barnsworth, who started from the front row of the grid and took the lead through Alpine Stars. But then we saw this big incident at turn three on the first lap, Steve. Bramage went down the inside for the lead, and unfortunately, it was Mahaffey that crashed out. Yeah, Mahaffey had a great start, too. I was looking forward to see what he could do in this run, but you can see he was uh, pretty upset with that. But then uh, early on in the race, it was the race between uh, Archie McDonald and Tom Bramage. And there, JJ Nalis went down, just got on the brakes too early um, and too hard, and bang, paid the price and uh, lost the front end of his machine. Then Archie McDonald dove up the inside of Bramwich. Couldn't quite make it there, though, could he? Um, trying as hard as he could, but to just tag the back, both of those riders lucky to stay on. Yeah, Archie did a great recovery to get back up onto the uh, the back of Bramwich. A few laps later, made the uh, move safely at Ducati Corner Turn 6, but closing in as well was the pole man, Tom Bramwich. Oh, sorry, Tom uh, Zaparis. Look at that move on Bramwich through Michelin Corner. Turn, th turn two. That was uh, a big, big move. And then Bramwich fights back immediately. Yeah, good to see Tom's uh, fighting spirit coming through there. And I'm talking about uh, the number 44, Tom. But then Zaparis, he clicked it up a gear and just moved into the tens where nobody else could. Uh, one ten five, setting lap record pace. Uh, incredible stuff and uh, came across the line and he took the victory. And what a victory it was for uh, Tom Taparis. Yep, he only led the last uh, lap and a half of the race. So uh, a big move there from Taparis. Showed his pace at the end of the race and he's now down in park for me. There's Robbie Bolger, the, uh, the team owner. There's his dad, Richard, getting the congratulations uh, from his dad.